Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we would like to demonstrate the use of rib and pattern in uh, solid modeling. So we are using the shape we have here. So we can draw the ribs and get the pattern around the circle, the, the cylinder, and also do the other pattern here. So let's go to solid edge and start our drawing. So if you go to solid edge, I'm going to go, I, I, I open a new file. I'm going to go to the top view and start with a circle by center. And the dimension is one, uh, 220. We we'll put it in the center here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just get rid of the base, the, the coordinate. And then we're going to do the other center, 70, enter. It's going to be in the, exactly in the center. And the other one, 60. Okay. Okay, so this now we have this uh, shape. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the home and use the extrusion get this shape this face this face right click and go up 50 and go to the other face here go up 5 Okay, so we got the first thing. Now we need to draw the uh, rib. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the coordinate, uh, the plane, the reference planes. I'm going to highlight it, open it. And actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the front view. So I'm going to draw a line. You have to get one of the tools here highlighted so I can click, so I can uh, attach it to F3, so F3 here to lock me, or especially in the front plane. So now anything will be drawn, it will be in this front plane. So if I go to front, and then get a line from any position here, from the edge here, to somewhere here, somewhere. Okay. So now this line was drawn in the, in what, in the front plane. Okay. So now let's correct first the dimensions. So the distance from the top to this edge here should be five. Okay, so let's uh, vertical, horizontal. So this should be five, so I'm gonna put five. And, and X from the tip here to the center line here should be 102. Yeah. Very good. Okay. So now we draw a line. So I'm going to go to the home. And then uh, what I'm going to do once I draw a line here in this plane, I'm going to use the feature which we need to learn about it today, which is called the rib. So here is rib, so I'm going to click on the rib. And as you can see, you draw a line, and when you highlight the line, this is will be my rib, so I'm going to say OK. Now it tell me how much the thickness, and it will go automatically till it meet the solid uh, part. So I'm going to say what the thickness is is it yes it is it okay so we need the thickness so you can change the, the thickness here and say okay so now we draw the the rib okay now if i go to the top view again and i need to repeat this rib six times or like in six locations so what i'm going to do now we're going to use the pattern feature and how to do it okay so first i'm going to select this Rib. I'm going to draw a highlight like this. 
So now I, I selected the rib. And then I'm going to go to the pattern and the circular better and just to move my mouse till I see that we are we are in the in the center so wait till let's see that the circles are in, at the center line at the center of all the circles so I'm gonna click so automatically it will give me the pattern and automatically the what is saved in the memory was six so it's six this is what we are looking for if you want to make it eight you want to make it four you want to make it eight you can change the number here but since it's a six we say okay enter so now we have the button i'm gonna right click or i'm gonna just escape so now we succeeded to make the pattern of the ribs okay now the next thing is i'm gonna go to top or go to bottom but really actually is, is uh, i'm gonna go to the bottom view okay let me look like this okay i'm gonna go to the bottom here okay and let me first where is the marker if this is the coin okay that's good that's good that's good okay so now the bottom okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to draw a circle by center i'm going to lock myself to this plane the plane of the bottom okay so i'm going to you have f3 you click you move the mouse on top of the f3 and this is how you lock yourself to this plane f3 so anything I'm going to draw is going to be in the bottom, okay? Oh, this is one way. The other way is just you, you click the, the, the F3 uh, function in your computer and so on, okay? So now what I want to do is just I need to draw a circle by center, okay? The diameter is, okay, sorry, okay. I'm going to draw uh, the bigger circle first. So the first circle is 100. Enter. And I'm going to go to the center. I'm going to click. And the next one is 140. And go to the center. And I'm going to click. And the one, the next one is 180. Enter. Go to the center. And click. Okay. Now I just I draw the uh, three things up. I'm gonna get it. now I need to get a circle which is eight millimeter yes eight millimeter enter and then on the first circle here I'm gonna go to on the line here in the intersection and I'm gonna click and in the second circle here the second I'm gonna click on the, the on the line here in the same when you see X and then I'm gonna make another one tangent to it on the line on the line of the circle like here it is and then go the other way the other side and i'm going to make it tangent and at the same time on the line of the circle okay now i'm going to go to the, the 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 third circle again in the top so it's going to be on the line at the x intersection so i'm going to click now i'm going to put two circle tangent and on the line twice one and tangent on the line two same thing to the other side to the left side tangent and on the line and tangent on the line good okay now i need to do what now i need to start just cleaning a little bit so i'm going to click on this one to get rid of it click on these two and get rid of them okay now I need to draw the, the, the tangent, but in a curve, on a circle. So I'm going to go to circle by center again. And the, the first one, okay, the, we don't need anything. For the second and the third, so it's going to be like uh, eight, a thickness. The, 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 the difference in the diameter, the diameter will be 16. So it's going to be what? The first one <coughs> is 188, so I'm going to put 188. enter i go to the center here and the click and the other one will be what 172 172 enter put it in the center okay 
Then the next one will be 148, 148, enter, put it in the center, good, and then 132, 132, let's Enter. Okay. I'm going to put it in the middle. Okay. 132. Okay. So we got that. Okay. Now I'm going to start. Uh, so what I need to do is, what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom here so I can handle it better and I see it better. Okay. Here it is. Okay. That's much better. So now you see this tangent circle. So I'm going to make, make sure that this circle is tangent to this line here so i need to see it is connected already so this circle tangent to this one good and the other one here is this circle tangent to this one and this circle tangent to this one good okay now what i'm going to do the same thing for this circle this circle this or this line tangent to this circle okay or this circle tangent to this line and this circle tangent to the circle or this line tangent to this one okay good now i'm gonna start cleaning so i'm gonna move like this it's gonna get rid of that and i'm gonna move here to get rid of that and i'm gonna move here i'm gonna get rid of that i'm gonna move this one get rid of that i'm gonna click this one i'm gonna move with that and also i'm gonna move here Okay, oh, okay, I didn't clean this one. Okay. Let me get this one. <coughs> okay, so what we have now? Okay. Okay, now let's uh, get out of this uh, thing and zoom back. Okay, so fit. Okay, now I want to do what I need to get, do this uh, protrusion. So what I'm going to do is, let me go to home. Oops, that's okay, just fine. That's fine. Okay, let me move it again. Okay, now let's move it the other way. Okay. I'm going to say ex extrude. I'm going to use the negative and then i'm gonna use like a chain i'm gonna click on this one shift click the other one and click the third one and then uh, right click in, in one of them and then what we're gonna do is just want to make sure that no okay yeah okay so it should be just moving to the next cut through next okay so this way in this direction very good let me see so it is done okay this got them out okay okay now if, if this the, the, the number here and the stuff is bothering you what i can do is just we can go back here hide the body and then get rid of these delete okay okay just one more okay that's good enough okay okay now i can uh, get rid of the core uh, the base uh, the, 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 the core let me get the the part back so now hmm. i don't need it anymore okay it's good okay so now what we have now here we have this pattern i'm going to look at the top okay i have this pattern already so what i'm going to do i want to repeat this pattern in all the six locations so what i'm going to do is i'm going to highlight select the cuts with it so i'm going to do it like this So this way I selected all these cuts. Okay? And then I'm gonna go to a pattern. 
circular pattern the same way and then what we're going to move it here till we see that the circles are centered around on the big one so i'm going to click Sorry, what about going to did I say the button? Okay, it is six. So now if I want to change it, I can change it here. So I'm going to say, okay, enter. Okay, so now escape. So now we have succeeded to go to home. So let me get this one out. Okay, just one moment. Okay, so now we succeeded to have the shape we are looking for which has ribs and better so we were able to do the six the pattern of six ribs and the better we repeated the better i hope you enjoyed the video and i wish you all the best and uh, uh, i would like to thank you for watching the video and if i would like to hear your feedback and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel click the bell and give it a thumb up. have a wonderful day and see you in the next video bye bye